chloramines are derivatives of ammonia by substitution of one, two or three hydrogen atoms with chlorine atoms, monochloramine, dichloramine, and nitrogen trichloride. The term chloramine also refers to a family of organic compounds with the formulas R2NCl and RNCl2. Monochloramine is an inorganic compound with the formula NH2Cl. It is an unstable colorless liquid at its melting point of a 66 a degree Celsius, but it is usually handled as a dilute aqueous solution, in which form it is sometimes used as a disinfectant. Synthesis and chemical reactions NH2Cl is a highly unstable compound in concentrated form. Pure NH2Cl decomposes violently above a 40 a degree Celsius. Gaseous chloromine at low pressures and low concentrations of chloromine in aqueous solution are thermally slightly more stable. Chloromine is readily soluble in water and ether, but less soluble in chloroform and carbon tetrachloride. Production In dilute aqueous solution, chloromine is prepared by the reaction of ammonia with sodium hypochlorite, NH3 plus OCLI paragraph NH2Cl plus HO. This is also the first step of the Raskic hydrazine synthesis. The reaction has to be carried out in a slightly alkaline medium. The acting chlorinating agent in this reaction is hypochloric acid, which has to be generated by protonation of hypochlorite, and then reacts in a nucleophilic substitution of the hydroxyl against the amino group. The reaction occurs quickest at around penthouse 8. At higher pH values, the concentration of hypochloric acid is lower. At lower pH values ammonia is protonated to form ammonium ions NH4+, which do not react further. The chloromine solution can be concentrated by vacuum distillation and by passing the vapor through potassium carbonate which absorbs the water. Chloromine can be extracted with ether. Gaseous chloromine can be obtained from the reaction of gaseous ammonia with chlorine gas, 2NH3, G, plus Cl2, G. INH2Cl, G, plus NH4Cl, S, pure chloromine can be prepared by passing fluorome through calcium chloride, 2NH2F plus CaCl2I paragraph 2NH2Cl plus CaF2, decomposition, the covalent NCl bonds of chloromines are readily hydrolyzed with release of hypochlorous acid, or NCl plus H2O or NH plus HOCl. The quantitative hydrolysis constant is used to express the bactericidal power of chloromines, which depends on their generating hypochlorous acid in water. It is expressed by the equation below, and is generally in the range 10-4 euro 10-10, K equals slash CR NCL. In aqueous solution, chloromine slowly decomposes in a neutral or mildly alkaline medium. 3NH2CLI paragraph N2 plus NH4Cl plus 2HCl, however, only a few percent of a 0.1 M chloromine solution in water decompose according to the formula in several weeks. At pH values above 11, the following reaction slowly occurs, 3NH2Cl plus 3OHI paragraph NH3 plus N2 plus 3 centiliters plus 3 hours 2O, in an acidic medium at pH values of around 4, Chlorome disproportionates to form dichloromine, which in turn disproportionates at pH values below 3 to form nitrogen trichloride, 2NH2Cl plus H plus INHCl2 plus NH4 plus, 3NHCl2 plus H plus I2NCl3 plus NH4 plus, at low pH values, nitrogen trichloride dominates in between. Penthouse 3 to 5 dichloromine dominates. These equilibria are disturbed by the irreversible decomposition of both compounds, NHCl2 plus NCl3 plus 2 hours 2 OI paragraph N2 plus 3 HCl plus 2 HOCl. Reactions, in water chloromine is pH neutral. It is an oxidizing agent, NH2Cl plus 2 hours plus plus 2 EI paragraph NH4 plus plus Cl. Reactions of chloromine include radical, nucleophilic, and electrophilic substitution of chlorine, electrophilic substitution of hydrogen, and oxidative additions. Chlorone can, like HOCl, donate positively charged chlorine in reactions with nucleophiles, Nu plus NH3Cl plus I paragraph Nu R Euro Cl plus NH3, 
Examples of chlorination reactions include transformations to dichloromine and nitrogen trichloride in acidic medium, as described in the decomposition section. Chloromine may also emanate nucleophiles, nu plus NH2Cl I paragraph nu R euro NH2 plus Cl. The emanation of ammonia with chloromine to form hydrazine is an example of this mechanism, NH2Cl plus NH3 plus NaO I paragraph N2H4 plus NaCl plus H2O, chloromine electrophilically emanates itself in neutral and alkali media to start its decomposition, 2NH2Cl I paragraph N2H3Cl plus HCl, the chlorohydrazine formed during self-decomposition is unstable and decomposes itself which leads to the net decomposition reaction, 3NH2. CLI paragraph N2 plus NH4 Cl plus 2 HCl, uses in chemical reactions, NH2 Cl is a key intermediate in the traditional synthesis of hydrazine. Monochloramine oxidizes sulfhydryls and disulfides in the same manner as HClO, but only possesses 0.4% of the biocidal effect of HClO. Uses in water treatment. Chloramine is used as a disinfectant for water because it is less aggressive than chlorine and more stable against light than hypochlorites. Drinking water disinfection, NH2Cl is commonly used in low concentrations as a secondary disinfectant in municipal water distribution systems as an alternative to chlorination. This application is increasing. Chlorine is being displaced by chloramine euro to be specific monochloramine euro which is much more stable and does not dissipate as rapidly as free chlorine. NH2Cl also has a very much lower, however still present, tendency than free chlorine to convert organic materials into chlorocarbons such as chloroform and carbon tetrachloride. Such compounds have been identified as carcinogens and in 1979 the United States Environmental Protection Agency began regulating their levels in U.S. drinking water. Some of the unregulated byproducts may possibly pose greater health risks than the regulated chemicals. Adding chloramine to the water supply may increase exposure to lead in drinking water, especially in areas with older housing. This exposure can result in increased lead levels in the bloodstream, which may pose a significant health risk. Swimming pool disinfection In swimming pools, chloramines are formed by the reaction of free chlorine with organic substances. Chloramines, compared to free chlorine, are both less effective as a sanitizer and, if not managed correctly, more irritating to the eyes of swimmers. Chloramines are also responsible for the reported chlorine smell of swimming pools. Pool test kits designed for use by homeowners are sensitive to both free chlorine and chloramines, which can be misleading. There is also evidence that exposure to chloramine can contribute to respiratory problems, including asthma, among swimmers. Respiratory problems related to chloramine exposure are common and prevalent among competitive swimmers. Removing chloramines from water, chloramines should be removed from water for dialysis, aquariums, hydroponic applications, and home brewing beer. Chloramines can interfere with dialysis, can hurt aquatic animals, and can give home brewed beer a medicinal taste by forming chlorophenols. In hydroponic applications, it will stunt the growth and fruit production of plants. When a chemical or biological process that changes the chemistry of chloramines is used, it falls under reductive dechlorination. Other techniques use physicale euro not chemicale euro methods for removing chloramines. Dialysis Chloramine must be removed from the water prior to use in kidney dialysis machines, as it would come in contact with the bloodstream across a permeable membrane. However, since chloramine is neutralized by the digestive process, kidney dialysis patients can still safely drink chloramine treated water. Ultraviolet light, the use of UV for chlorine or chloramine removal is an established technology that has been widely accepted in pharmaceutical, beverage, and dialysis applications. Ultraviolet light is also used at aquatic facilities. Superchlorination Chloramine can be removed from tap water by treatment with superchlorination while maintaining a pH of about 7. Hypochlorous acid from the free chlorine strips the ammonia from the chloramine, and the ammonia outgasses from the surface of the bulk water. This process takes about 24 hours for normal tap water concentrations of a few ppm of chloramine. 
residual free chlorine can then be removed by exposure to bright sunlight for about four hours. Ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid and sodium ascorbate completely neutralizes both chlorine and chloramines but degrades in a day or two, which make it usable only for short-term applications. SFPUC determined that 1,000 mg of vitamin C remove chloramine completely in a medium-sized bathtub without significantly depressing pH. Activated carbon, activated carbon have been used for chloramine removal long before catalytic carbon became available. Standard activated carbon requires a very long contact time, which means a large volume of carbon is needed. For thorough removal, up to four times the contact time of catalytic carbon may be required. Most dialysis units now depend on granular activated carbon filters, two of which should be placed in series so that current breakthrough can be detected after the first one, before the second one fails. Additionally, sodium metabisulfate injection may be used during circumstances. Campton tablets, home brewers use reducing agents such as sodium metabisulfate or potassium metabisulfate to remove chlorine from brewing fermented beverages. However, Residual sodium can cause off flavors in beer so potassium metabisulfate is preferred. Sodium thiosulfate, sodium thiosulfate is used to dechlorinate tap water for aquariums or treat effluent from wastewater treatments prior to release into rivers. The reduction reaction is analogous to the iodine reduction reaction. Treatment of tap water requires between 0.1 grams and 0.3 grams of pentahydrated sodium thiosulfate per 10 liters of water. Many animals are sensitive to chlorine, and it must be removed from water given to many animals in zoos. Sodium thiosulfate has been used as treatment of calciphylaxis in hemodialysis patients with end-stage renal disease. Other methods, chlorine, like chlorine, can be removed by boiling and aging. However, time required to remove chlorine is much longer than that of chlorine. The time required to remove half of the chlorine from 10 gallons of water by boiling is 26.6 hours, whereas the half-life of free chlorine in boiling 10 gallons of water is only 1.8 hours. Organic chloramines, a variety of organic chloramines are known and proven useful in organic synthesis. Examples include N-chloromorpholine 2O, N-chloropiperidine and n chlorokiniclidinium chloride. Reduction of organic chloramines, chloramines are often an unwanted side product of oxidation reactions of organic compounds with bleach. The reduction of chloramines back into our means can be carried out through a mild hyzride donor. Sodium borohydride will reduce chloramines, but this reaction is greatly sped up with acid catalysis. Safety U.S. EPA drinking water quality standards limit chlorine concentration for public water systems to 4 parts per million based on a running annual average of all samples in the distribution system. In order to meet EPA regulated limits on halogenated disinfection byproducts, many utilities are switching from chlorination to chloramination. While chloramination produces fewer regulated total halogenated disinfection byproducts, it can produce greater concentrations of unregulated iodinated disinfection byproducts and n nitrosodimethylamine Both iodinated disinfection byproducts and n nitrosodimethylamine have been shown to be genotoxic. Chlorine has been implicated as a mutagen and as a toxic agent for aquatic life, hence the US EPA proposes to prohibit its use in drinking water. See also, disinfection, disinfection byproducts, water treatment, pathogen, References External links, Chlorinated Drinking Water, IARC Monograph, EPA Maximum Contaminant Levels, Web Book Page for NH2CL, Chlorine and Chloramines in the Freshwater Aquarium.